New developments following a local 12 investigation as lawmakers ask whether background checks are needed at the Ohio State House. Dwayne Pullman's, Dwayne Pullman's rather investigation proved that a child sex predator hid his crimes from state leaders. Here's Dwayne with the fallout. James Cronenberger had a long history of disturbing crimes against children, but state lawmakers tell me they never knew that when they met with him. While many details of Cronenberger's crimes were hidden, some of that information was just a click away on Google. Now a state lawmaker from Mount Lookout who worked with Cronenberger's group to write this prison and parole reform bill is asking whether he needs to find out more about who he's inviting into his office. Were you aware of his past? No, I was not. State Representative Tom Brinkman, a Republican from Mount Lookout, told me he didn't know that man pictured with him, James Cronenberger, is a registered sexual predator convicted of multiple sex crimes against young children. If I would have known the information, things would have been a little bit different. Cronenberger met with Representative Brinkman more than once, and Cronenberger's group, Fair Treatment Reform and Reentry, helped Brinkman's staff draft this proposed law to allow nonviolent offenders to avoid prison and help reform Ohio's system of parole and probation. So he gave you ideas on where the reform was needed? Correct. Cronenberger was pictured with lots of state lawmakers, pushing to give inmates a second chance. How often do you guys come down here to work with lawmakers? I come down usually between two and three times a week. When I confronted Cronenberger two weeks ago about his criminal record, he admitted he didn't divulge any of it to lawmakers. Why wouldn't you tell everyone if you're not nothing to hide? I don't know, I just never thought of it. Cronenberger's crimes ranged from enticement and harassment to attempted kidnapping, and he kept all of it a secret. As he pushed for second chances, he failed to tell lawmakers he was placed on probation twice, violating both times. Why wouldn't you tell them this? Uh, nobody asked. That includes Representative Brinkman, who admits there was no vetting of Cronenberger. Was any done? None, none was done at all. The staff never Googled him. No, it's terrifying. Brett Van Oker is the president of Block Parole, an organization dedicated to keeping violent offenders in prison for their maximum sentences. He says he's stunned that no one checked Cronenberger's background. You would think that members of the legislature who are working with people would vet them. The whole bill is, is, is tainted. Uh, and we're getting recommendations. Representative Brinkman insists the reforms in his bill are still needed, but says my investigation has prompted him to begin asking how to check backgrounds before people like Cronenberger come into the picture. But I wish I would have known who I was dealing with. There's no question about that. Representative Brinkman tells me he'd like to keep his open door policy, but says he's asked the legislature's Human Resource Office to find out whether background checks can be done before someone like Cronenberger meets with him and other lawmakers. I'll let you know what happens next. I'm Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.